the BBC, it says the following. I don't really sure this, how this is going to actually help to move things or move the needle in any way, shape or form, or actually lead to some sort of structural changes in the music industry or entertainment industry overall. But hey, whoa, here we go, continue. Brit Awards scrap male and female categories. So it says the following. You got Dua Lipa here looking a little bit funky. Not the best pictures of her smiling, I don't think, but we move, we move. It says Dua Lipa J House will go down in history as the last stars to win the best female and male Brit Awards. That's because from next year, the two categories will be combined into a single prize from the British talent organizers. Organizers say artists like Sam Smith and Will Young have previously called for the change, saying that the current system excludes non binary artists. What a bunch of bullshit virtue signaling nonsense. What does this actually do? Doesn't this actually serve as a disservice to most women or people that are non-male in most musical industries? I would imagine, off the back of my head, having done no research, that most, the the kind of, I'd assume the majority of artists out there are mostly male, right? Especially when it comes to music. I'd imagine so. I don't know why, but I'll just imagine so. If that's the case, they're probably going to win most of the group, most of the categories, right? Because there's just more of them around. But, Obviously, you include the other groups because you want it to be reflective of the music industry at large. So you have the ability to give it to a dude and you have the ability to give it to a girl, right? If you want to maybe create a third category where you can kind of maybe a non-binary kind of category, but I think that's obviously a garbage thing. But if you're maybe someone that doesn't identify with either, you have to pick one. You just have to because they're just awards. They're not really that serious. They're not representative of your um, gender, uh, how you present yourself in terms of your gender. What's it? Your identity, your gender identity, or how you view yourself, or your sexual persuasion, or your or what you're attracted to. It doesn't really do any of that. It's just a way to acknowledge. Um, two different groups of people putting out two bodies of work during that calendar year or what they did as an artist during that calendar year and basically praising it. And again, it's a Brits. Do you know what I mean? It's not like really reflective of the overall music industry. It's really reflective of the top of the top, right? These are pop stars. These are the top one to 5%. So if they're not representing maybe non-binary artists who are still going to be a minority yeah, and going to be maybe operating in the niches, then that should be common sense right it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense and again structural changes are needed if you're non-binary you probably have an issue just being recognized as an artist in general in the music industry you have a uh, um you have a ceiling in terms of where you can perform who you can perform on what show you can talk what show you can kind of talk to or talk on in terms of interviews you have a ceiling so why not try to address those structural limitations that exist or maybe create a pathway for people to go from SoundCloud to getting a record contract or improve, God forbid, the terms of these fucking shitty 360 deals that people are on at the moment. Maybe do that at the start instead of doing all this stupid virtue signaling, you know, um, political correctness shit. Like, what is this? All this work shit is just bullshit. Like, what is this? What does this serve honestly so now going forward there's no male and female category so if there was an award that had to be contested between a jay huss and a dua lipa more likely than not the one that isn't male is always going to win especially if you're not a minority if you're bl if you're a male and you're a minority you or if you're you know what you're going to do now these for these all these artists are going through now you're going to have people identifying as one thing just so they can get themselves recognized. Or you're going to have people exaggerating their racial, ethnic, whatever backgrounds so that they can be a little bit exotic. Instead of just saying, yeah, I'm Irish and Catholic, you're going to be start saying I'm Irish with a bit of Italian and my mom's from Cuba. All this nonsense just so you can make yourself stick out from the rest so that when it comes to nominations, you have a chance of winning because we know, God forbid, if you're blonde and blue eyed, you're not going anywhere right? You're not going anywhere in these kind of wars. And I don't get it. It doesn't make sense because I feel like the path to success for all people, doesn't matter who you are, is very difficult when it comes to the entertainment industry because it's one of the most competitive, especially the music industries that exist out there because there are so little places, record contracts, um, resident spots on the DJ lineup, festival lineup bookings, um, whatever it may be, to go around that it makes it entirely difficult to make it. So when you do make it, you're like, hallelujah. However you make it, however you get in there, you're going to be thanking the gods. But to suggest that somehow these fucking categories do anything to change the conversation or to change 
the system or to change how people are successful or how things are viewed is just asinine to in the extreme bruv like what the fuck is this but it continues it says smith who was non-binary missed out on the nomination at this year's awards missed out yeah right bruv sam smith hasn't been hit in, in years his music has gone doo-doo from the time he started posing on a beach talking about he loves his body his music has gone complete crap bruv he's basically our lizzo he's the male lizzo he does more post on social media and he actually does spend time making good music at least he puts out music unless i like unlike like lizzo but he's still like lizzo in that respect he spends all his time monitoring posturing and just being annoying on social than just putting the music out and he missed out on last year's nomination because his album was trash that's it just be honest about that and again i'm a sam smith fan but let's call a spade a spade it says um their album love goes reached number two in the uk chart but they felt unable to enter the gender categories unable enter it bruv enter it and then get on the stage when you eventually win because they're gonna give it to you because you're fucking sam smith then make your speech about oh representation and all this sort of shit do that like oh yeah yeah these people man right on instagram he says at the time um he didn't feel the rewards were reflective of society we live in the brits have been an important part of my career M music for me has always been about unification or division i love the i love the i look forward to the time where the awards can show um the award shows can be reflective of the society we live in let's celebrate everybody regardless of gender race ability sexual creed we, we do that already you've got a career you sell millions and millions of albums you sell out venues and shit people still love your music despite it being fucking garbage now at the moment this is a clear clear time in history where if anything the more different you are the more celebrated you're going to be the more unconventional you are the more non-normal you are people are going to celebrate you more come on man like what is this this is so much bullshit it says here the following the brits have awarded prizes along with gender lines since along the gender lines <laughs> oh these li I, honestly i don't know anymore man i don't know i've never believed this whole gender thing is a this whole gender thing in the music was gonna be the way to solve things even when it came to djing they're like oh we're gonna do 50 50 lineups and again i'm somebody that's advocated to have more DJ female djs on lineups but i've also recognized that dj myself it's hard for everybody it's fucking difficult. Most of these lineups are all the same garbage. Go to ADE. Go back to the last five years of their lineups. It's the same tired faces. Go to Time Warp. The same tired faces. And I know we're talking about the commercial side of things, the higher echelon side of things, but they don't even try and attempt to kind of refresh the lineups. They don't do it. So as a response, loads of people like the Body Music Festival we're seeing, Inferno, the club night here we have in London. You've got the Pussy Palace people that do their party. What they're doing at the moment, they've created their own little niches. They've created their own little alternative, quote unquote, space that exists where they can celebrate and go and book the people that they love cool but i'll still want those same people to be on the main lineups i still want those people to play on love love fever i still want bodybuilders people to play at x or y i think that's that's kind of deserved and that's um, for me is a fair reflection on what the dance world looks like because i always felt like going to an edm festival all those kind of dash naff na things that exist right which is even a better example because those edm festivals are incredibly broed out and look a particular way why can you go to an EDM festival and see all these amazingly attractive young girls in the crowd wearing these great outfits, but they're not on the flipping DJ booths? Why aren't they playing behind the decks? Why aren't they also booked in the lineups? Why aren't they given a chance? I'm sure as all DJs, like myself included, you all got the bug. We all got the bug by going to the event, seeing someone play and be like, oh, wow, I'd love to do that. Oh, wow, I can do that. Oh, wow, I'm going to put an event next week. Yeah, That's what you do. And you start off playing on belt drive. You start off doing CD. Whatever you do, you always get the bug by going to an event and seeing someone play. Now, it would help if it was someone who looked like you, but just seeing someone play helps. So you're telling me all those girls in those crowds at EDM Festival don't want to play at those big stages, wouldn't want to give them the chance to perform in there, don't have a little DJ MIDI controller at home that they practice on? Of course they do, but they don't get a chance to play. Why? Because it's a closed, but not boy, all boys, it's like a closed kind of, um, boy, not boys club, but it's just a closed group. They don't let people in because they want people that only sell tickets that are the ones that they can guarantee that they can rely on, all that sort of tired shit. So the industry is basically exasperating the issue. They don't want to change because they don't want to lose money or they don't want to put in the effort to make the change, whatever. Or maybe the customers don't want it. I don't know what it is. But what doesn't work is just saying 50-50 lineups because if you just went and said, let's get all those girls in the EDM crowd to go and play those big lineups, right, or those big stages, 
They, some of them are going to fall flat in their faces and some people just won't care about listening to them play. So you're not going to sell tickets. So you're going to need to kind of create an environment where they can kind of showcase their skills in an environment that's going to give them the best possible chance to kind of gain a new audience, gain some fan base and obviously try by hook and crook with patience little by little re-educate people and give people the book the one of the book them the confidence that okay if we book these people we're going to get this kind of attendance blah, blah blah going forward that's what you need slow progressive systematic structural changes in the scene to change stuff not just saying we're going to scrap the genders in the award shows we're going to have 50 50 lineups that does nothing it does nothing in the long term absolute zero you book all these girls for 50 50 lineups for one event they go back to regular life after the fact. Nothing changes in their career. What we want to see is all of those clubs that just have the bro lineups have different people playing. But then the other issue about it, people like myself who are on the fucking bottom of the tier when it comes to the C tier, you know, going up in DJs in terms of A being the top, A, B, C, and each tier having sub tiers, three of them. I'm in like tier C of tier C, right? I'm in tier C, tier C. I'm in tier C, tier C, C3. That's what I'm in, right? C, C3 tier. Even I'm finding it difficult to get from playing in bars and pubs of 100 quid to then go into playing in clubs where they're paying you 150 or they're paying you 200. It's a big jump to make. There's no clear linear path in that regard when it comes to those in that career because everyone wants it. And now you're telling me I have to sit on the sidelines because you're going to do a gender lineup or because someone non-binary has to play. Is that fair? Because I can't get in. There's nothing wrong with me. Why can't I have a chance to play? I'm as dedicated and committed to the music as I as anybody else is. I've been on the outskirts. I've not had the opportunity to play in there. And plenty of people like that that exist out there who are even who are people in maybe in a higher position than I am, who are maybe in the B tier, in the lower A tier who are still not getting gigs. What about them? It just doesn't make any sense to do it that way. I just don't get it. It's just so dumb. But anyway, it continues here with a with a, with a quote. It says, "If you are starting towards, if you are starting the awards from scratch today, you would probably do it." These terms said Gennaro Castellado, the spokeswoman for the music and body industry BPI. Why shouldn't the likes of Adele and Ed Sheeran be able to go head to head and be judged as artists, assuming they're nominated? Because we know what you're gonna do. You're not gonna have you're not gonna have certain people winning awards. You're just not gonna win if you're gonna be up against bare girls. You're not, or people that are non-binary. Just think about it. Let's be serious. If you're a dude, you're not gonna win. Let's call a spade a spade. We know what's going to happen. Like, especially in the first couple of years after the fact when they made this change. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. And again, it cheapens the award when you get it in that regard. I think it's similar to Megan Thee Stallion getting 17 Grammys after allegedly being, getting shot by, you know, fucking Tory Lanez. Like, why did she get the awards? Did she get the awards because you actually fucked her with the album or because you felt sorry for her because of what she went through? Because if you felt sorry for what she went through, that's not what the Grammys are there for. Do you know what I mean? You've already cheapened the product. It's like, it's like you're, you're not actually helping these people. You're actually making it worse for them because people then start making conspiracy theories about stuff. They start abused. It's like, ay ay ay, man. Ay ay ay. I shouldn't even get that annoyed about it because it's a fucking Brit Awards. Who gives a shit? But it's still annoying me. It says, yeah, the shift will also be effective in the international category where the best international male and awards, male and female awards won by the weekend and Billie Eilish will be replaced by a single award. Doolipa's manager, Ben Molson, said he approved of the change. He said it's good. To, yeah, because he knows Doolipa is still going to win regardless because it's good to see the Brits continuing to make a progress and be more inclusive of the award. Show that puts the talent first is step that we include. Mate, the music industry isn't inclusive. It's the most exclusive industry in the fucking world. You can have all the skills in the world and you still don't get a fucking chance. Do you know what I mean? It's exclusive as fuck, clicky as fuck. Like, God almighty, what are these people talking about? There's nothing been inclusive about any of these people they're in the top one percent of the top one percent like come on man like jesus christ they have entire teams working behind their images to make them look a certain way to sound a certain way like projects look that like, like come on do, do you give yourself a favor man fuck me but anyway they, they've made that change I'm, i've got no more to say i don't want to get more riled up on stuff that doesn't really matter or make any more sense really